So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys another outfit from the outfit transfer glitch. So this is going to be for the male character. So if you do it on a female character, you're not going to get it. You got to make sure that you name a male character. So you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one. So go ahead and equip the outfit that you don't want to lose before doing the glitch. Also, you want to make sure that you've purchased either a rebreather or um, an earpiece from Ammunition. So just go to Ammunition and purchase either a rebreather or um, earpiece, whichever one, it doesn't really matter. So to start the glitch, go ahead and just um, equip the outfit you don't want to lose because you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one. So I'm going to keep this outfit. So when you're ready to do a glitch, go ahead and film the outfit that you don't want to lose. And then hit your pause button, go to online, and just go into swap I'm character. Sit here all day. Literally, I have nothing else to do. So when you two characters come loading in here you want to go over to the second character and if you don't see edit on the bottom right that means that you're going to have to delete that second character so if you don't see edit you delete that second character and two new characters are going to come walking in but if you see edit on the bottom right on your second character go ahead and um select edit whichever button it is for you and then you're going to get this alert right here just go ahead and accept it and then when a character comes in here if your ca second character ended up being um a male just go ahead and change it into a female but if um, it was already a female just leave it as a female go ahead and save and continue and then um make a name for it and then take the picture and it might or might not play the casino dlc trailer it doesn't matter if it does it doesn't matter if it doesn't it doesn't matter also when i load in my next session my female character is going to look a little different because i have to record this three times because the first like two or three outfits that i made i didn't really like it and then like the fourth time i tried to do the glitch and like I was almost done my xbox disconnected from the wi-fi so i had to do everything over again so my female character is not going to look like what you guys just saw it's going to look a little different just because i had to record it like three or two times but yeah so it might or might not play the casino dlc trailer if it does it doesn't matter if it doesn't it also doesn't matter you just wait in to spawn inside of your um, new session now this part i started recording a little bit late but when you spawn inside a new session all you want to do is just go ahead and open up your mini map and look for the clothing stores and just go over to any of the clothing stores if you don't see any clothing stores on your mini map just go ahead and um, find a new session or just um, switch sessions and the clothing stores are gonna appear in your new session so if you don't see any clothing stores just switch sessions and the clothing store should be in your new session but if you see if you do see the clothing store just go ahead and make your way over to any of the clothing stores so when you get to the clothing store go ahead and come over here to the lady or the cashier hit right on the d-pad on it and then you want to go to the scuba outfits and purchase the teal scuba outfit just go ahead and purchase the teal scuba outfit all right when you purchase that just go ahead and back out come over to the accessories and if you have any earrings on your character go ahead and take the earrings off so if you have any earrings on just go ahead and take them off mine didn't have any earrings on so you don't got to do nothing but yeah then you want to come to the gloves and purchase the light woodland tactical gloves so once you got that that's going to be the first outfit we're going to be making three but you're going to come and save this outfit in an empty slot that's on your main character so if my main character has the outfit i didn't want to lose in a slot 20 i would go ahead and save this in a different slot so just go ahead and come and save this outfit in a slot that's empty on your main character all right so now for the second outfit we're gonna go to the um, pants section we're gonna go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants so just come to the um the pants go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants and then for the shoes we're gonna go to the shoe section go to the boots and purchase the worn ox blood slack boots so just come over to the shoes go to the boots and purchase the worn ox blood slack boots so those right there go ahead and purchase them purchase them and then just come save it underneath of the um first outfit that we made so just go ahead and come and save it underneath of the first outfit i end up getting killed right here if i was my main character i would have made this b-i-t-c-h leave the session but yeah i have nothing on my female character to kill him with except for like a minigun and that was it if i was my main character i would have made this guy leave the um, session but anyway just go ahead and save that outfit underneath of your um second 
go ahead and save it underneath of the first outfit that we made so just save it underneath the first outfit that we made so after you save it underneath the first outfit that we made we're gonna make one more outfit and for that we're just gonna go into the top section we're gonna go to leather jackets and we're gonna go buy the orange padded leather jacket so after you save that second outfit underneath the first one just come over here to the top section go to leather jackets and purchase the orange padded leather jacket so once you purchase that just go ahead and make your way um just stay in the top section go to gun running t-shirts and purchase the sand road t so once you purchase the um leather jacket stay in the top section go to gun running t-shirts and purchase the sand road t all right so when you got that go over to the hats or the caps well go to the hats and then go to um caps forward and you want to go ahead and purchase the peach digital cap so just come over here to the um hats and then go to caps forward and purchase the peach digital cap so in total that should be three outfits and when you got that when you got this outfit you just go ahead and come and save it underneath of the second outfit so you're gonna have three outfits all together so when you got this final oh. outfit just go ahead and come and save it underneath of the um second outfit and it's gonna be three outfits all together so just come save it underneath of the second one so after you save it underneath the second outfit just hit b and go to the standard outfits and go ahead and purchase the chica outfit so just go ahead and hit b come to standard outfits and purchase the chica outfit once you got that just back out hit your pause button go to online and just go into creator so once you come into creator just go ahead and go to creator race go to land race and then when it loads you in just go ahead and um click on race details fill out the title and the description it doesn't have to be anything specific just random stuff you do go ahead and take the photo and then put the maximum players on two and put the root type on point to point and then when you got that just hit your pause button and just warp over to the airport so when you get to the airport just go ahead and hit b go to placement go ahead and um, place the trigger Go ahead and just place the trigger down and then go to the lobby camera go ahead and take it and then click on um, checkpoints and then the race has to be only 0.62 miles or longer than 0.62 miles so like 0.63 doesn't matter just make it 0.62 miles and then hit b twice and it's going to give you the option to test out the race so when you're done making the race just hit b twice and it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you just want to go ahead and do that So when you finish the race you're gonna get an alert go ahead and accept the alert and then when the game loads you in just hit your pause button go to online and just go into choose character so when your two characters come loading in here just go over to your second character and hit delete on her and it's going to ask you to confirm it and all that so make sure you're on your second character not your main character make sure you delete your second character and then two new characters are going to come walking in and just go ahead and hit b so it takes you out into single player or story mode so when those two new characters come in after you've deleted your second character just go ahead and hit b so it takes you into single player so when you get into single player all you want to do is just hit your pause button go to online go to play gt online and just go into invite only session So when you load inside of your um, invite only session, if you like the outfit that you didn't want to lose, just go ahead and come save it. Hello. And when you save it, go ahead and save it towards the bottom because we're going to be merging um, outfits. So just go ahead and come and save this outfit towards the bottom. So once you save it, go ahead and go to the top section, 
go to racing jerseys and purchase the power motocross racing jersey so just come over to the top section go to racing jerseys and purchase the power motocross racing jersey So that's what it looks like right there go ahead and purchase that if you already don't own it so once you got that just go ahead and hit your pause button go to online go to jobs go to play jobs rockstar created go to versus and start up um the job called crooked cops and invite either a friend or a random now when you start the job up make sure you put the um, clothing on player owned or the glitch isn't gonna work so make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either a friend or a random so when the job loads up, come over here to owned outfits, hit right on the D-pad three times, and then you should have this outfit that I got on right here. So make sure you hit right on the D-pad three times, and then you should have the exact same outfit I got on with the pink vest. And you're gonna have like the Gorka camel pink joggers with pink Tron shoes with the um, racing gloves. Um, you're not gonna be able to change the shirt that's underneath the outfit though, but you could change the hat. So. I'm gonna tell you guys what you can do with the outfit after we save it. So when um, the job loads up, all you wanna do is just open up your interaction menu, go to styles, go to accessories, put on either the rebreather or the earpiece that I told you guys to buy from the beginning of the video. So just gonna put on either a rebreather or an earpiece and then just open up your phone and you wanna quit the job. All right, so like I was saying, you're not gonna be able to change the shirt, I'm pretty sure, or it's gonna mess the outfit up and you're gonna have only the um, pink, vest but yeah you're not gonna be able to change that much on it you can change the rebreather you can change the um, accessories and you can change the helmet so in the thumbnail you're gonna see you're gonna see it with a helmet and the rebreather so once you unload um, inside your session What's just go ahead and come save the outfit and then you can delete the three components because you're not gonna need them so once you save this outfit you can go ahead and delete those three components that we made because you don't need them so if you like if you guys like the outfit don't forget to drop a like on the video um, subscribe if you already haven't I don't know why you wouldn't subscribe but just go ahead and subscribe if you already haven't um, don't forget to share the video and turn your post notifications so you don't miss any other videos and I'm gonna share the video also